good morning students today i am going to learn uh, multiplication of decimals so first multiplication uh, by 10 100000 so first is see 0.5 into 10 the answer is 5 why when multiplying by 10 uh, multiplying a decimal by 10 moves the decimal point one place to the right so there is a point look carefully there is a point uh, so 10 so put a uh, decimal point uh, right side one digit moves the decimal point one place to the right so one place see and 2.7 into 10 multiply 10 is equal to 27 so multiply uh, this decimal point Uh, just place one digit from your uh, answer right side so the decimal point is here the answer is 27 how now 0.5 is equal to 5 by 10 into 10 is equal to 5 and 27 2.7 is equal to 27 by 10 into 10 is equal to 27 therefore multiplying a decimal by 10 multiplying a decimal by 10 moves the decimal point one place to the right moves the decimal point one place to the right next uh, multiply by 100 so 1.78 into 100 is equal to 178 now 178 by 100 into 100 is equal to 178 and 0.3 into 100 is equal to 30 now 3 by 10 into 100 is equal to 30 therefore multiplying a decimal by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right so two places to the right count here 20 so move the decimal point two places to the right so right side one place is 7 and another place is 8 therefore the decimal point is here so the answer is 178 and for this one there is a, if there is a one digit then put a zero for uh, next digit so uh, first put a zero means now it becomes 3030 two digit now put decimal point uh, right side place uh, after two digit therefore the decimal point is here and the answer is 30 next 0.002 into 1000 into uh, is equal to 2 and 1.8 into 1000 is equal to 1800 and 7.8813 into 1000 is equal to 7813 now how 2.002 uh, is equal to 2 by 1000 into 1000 is equal to 2 and 1.8 uh, into 1000 is equal to 18 by 10 into 1000 is equal to 1800 and 7.813 by 1000 is equal into 1000 is equal to 7813 so therefore multiplying a decimal by 1000 moves the decimal point three places to the right so three places to the right see there is 1000 means 30 so uh, place the decimal point three digit uh, of the uh, right so point count 1 2 3 put a decimal point here so the answer is 2 for this one uh, there is one digit that means we have to put first two zero then place decimal point three digit uh, right side 1 2 3 the answer is 1800 1800 and for this one place a decimal point three digit uh, to the right therefore 1 2 3 so put a decimal point here so the answer is 7813 now some uh, practice math from cell practice 9d so uh, the question is uh, if there is a uh, answer given now uh, just uh, place a decimal point and write the answer okay just change the decimal point answer is given just put a decimal point in different different places and change uh, write the answer directly so therefore uh, this is given 5867 into 8 is equal to 46936 this is given now first question 5.867 into 8 is equal to this now first what to do first count the decimal places 1 2 3 after three digit put a decimal point in the answer so 1 2 3 put a decimal point here next is 
uh, 58.67 into uh, 8 the answer is 46936 but uh, first count the decimal point 1 2 2 decimal places so in the answer place decimal point uh, 2 decimal places so the answer is 1 2 put a decimal point here so the answer is 469.36 next for this one 586.7 into 8 and the answer is 46936 now count the decimal place there is a one uh, decimal place so put a decimal point uh, after one digit one digit see there is a decimal point therefore the answer is 4693.6 for the next one um, the answer is 46936 answer is same uh, now count the decimal place 1 2 3 4 for this one, uh, the decimal point uh, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 digit. So, place the decimal place, uh, decimal point after 4 digit. 1, 2, 3, 4. There is a decimal point. Therefore, the answer is 4.6936. Now, multiplication by a counting number. So, first 7.24 into 12. Just do the normal multiplication. Okay. So, 4 to the 8, 2 to the 4, 7 to the 14, 4 1 the 4, 2 1 the 2, 7 1 the 7. Now, 8, 4 plus 4, 8, 4 plus 2, 6 and 7 plus 1, 8. Just do normal multiplication. Then count the decimal places. There is two places. 1, 2. So, put a decimal point in the answer after two places. 1, 2. Put a decimal places here. So, the answer is 86.88. Next, uh, another example, 28.83 multiply by 25. So, 5 to 15, 1 carry, 8, 5 to 40 plus 1, 41, 1, 4 carry, 8, 5 to 40 plus 4, 44, 4, and 5 to 10 plus 4, 14. Now, 3 to 6, 8 to 16, uh, 6 carry 1, 8 to 16 plus 1, 17, and 2 to 4 plus 1, 5. Now, add 5, 6 plus 1, 7, 6 plus 4, 10, 0. 7 plus 4, 11 and 1, 12 and 5 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. Now, see, there is a decimal place is 2 places. So, place a decimal place uh, in 2 places. So, count 1, 2 and place a decimal point in the answer after 2 digit. 1, 2. There is a decimal point. Uh, so, the answer is 720.75. Just do simple multiplication and count the decimal point place and uh, put a decimal uh, point uh, in the answer and count, count and put okay now one uh, word problem the question is Rajesh has ordered 14 t-shirts for the salesman at his shop if each t-shirt cost rupees 781.35 find the cost of all 14 t-shirts so what is given cost of each t-shirt given what is the um, price rupees 781.35 so cost of each t-shirt given now uh, question is find the cost of 14 t-shirts therefore cost of 14 t-shirts is equal to rupees uh, 781.35 multiply 14 and uh, multiplication uh, doing your rough and just write the answer so the answer is rupees uh, 10938.90 this is the answer of 14 t-shirts okay clear student that's all for today thank you